What's up, Pro Warrior Squad? Ready to take your gaming to the next level? Today, I'm showing you how to play your favorite PlayStation Portable games right on your PC or laptop using the PPSSPP emulator. No cap, no clickbait. You'll see me playing PSP Classics on my computer in stunning 4K resolution at 60 FPS. And the best part? It's completely free and works on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. I'll walk you through every step, setting up the PPSSPP emulator, tweaking settings for the best performance customizing controls like a pro, and installing your favorite ROMs. This is your ultimate guide, so stick around till the end. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss a future upload. Let's dive in. At first, we will download the PPSSPP emulator on our computer. Open a browser on your PC or laptop, then type in the URL bar, ppsspp.org. I'll leave the link in the description. Click on the download button. On the download page, you will find a download option for all operating systems. Its current version is 1.18.1. You can see that PPSSPP is available on Android, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and VR APK operating systems. It is better to mention that PPSSPP has two different versions of the app, and I recommend the blue one, which is 100% free and has no ads. The second app is PPSSPP Gold, which is a paid version. I used both versions, and there is no difference. So, download the emulator according to your operating system. I'm going to install it on a Windows machine. We can download this software in two ways, PPSSPP installer or zip file portable. But zip files are a little bit complicated, which is why I am going to select the PPSSPP installer. Just click on it, and it will immediately start downloading the EXE file. The size of the file is just 21 megabytes. Once the download finishes, double-click on the package installer. It will ask you if you want to run this file. Just click on the Run button. Select the language you prefer to use, then click on the Install button. It asks for the storage location where you want to install it, so it must be installed in the C drive. If you want to change, you can do it. Now click on Install button and it will install PPSSPP within a few seconds. When it's done, uncheck the README text and leave PPSSPP checked, then click on Finish. If you have already used the PPSSPP emulator on your smartphone, you will notice that the PC version also looks the same. On the left side of the screen, all games will be displayed. On the right side and top bar, there are other options and settings. Even though we have launched the PPSSPP app for the first time, the game library will be empty. Before we install and start playing any games, check out the settings menu because there are a lot of different settings for customization, which will help ensure the best experience. Under the graphics section, you can see the backend option, which is set to OpenGL by default. You can also change it to Direct3D or Vulkan. It can vary from machine to machine and game to game. I suggest you try both to identify the best one for you. For display resolution, try the native device resolution to avoid unwanted crashes. If your computer is highly configured, you can go up to 10x or 8x PSP 4K for better graphics. If you notice the game struggling to run, Turn this down to 5x or 4x PSP, which is 1080p resolution. Enable anti-aliasing and set it to 2x for smoother visuals. Enable full screen option. Make sure V-Sync is checked to prevent screen tearing. PPSSPP on PC offers a range of customizable display layouts and visual effects to enhance PSP games. There are many layout options available, so explore and find the one that works best for you. I recommend turning on Auto Frame Skip for the smoothest gameplay possible. At the bottom, turn on Show FPS Count and Show Speed Options if you want to see information during gameplay. One of my favorite features of this app is the Controls menu because there's a lot to do here. Just click on Control Mapping. The default control method is set to the keyboard. If you want to change the keys, just put your desired key in the controls. However, I found the default keys to be perfect. If you have a controller, you can select it by using the Input Device option. If you can't understand the keys, you can try using the Show PSP option. Then click on Bind All. Here, you just need to provide your desired keys. In the audio menu, leave it as default. Now moving to the system menu, there are lots of options, but I don't think you need to change anything here. Don't be afraid, because if you mess something up, there's an option to restore PPSSPP settings to default. Now let's load games on PPSSPP. Switch to the Games option in the top bar, then open the Browse folder. This will open your internal storage. 
Navigate to the folder where you have stored PSP games. Now it's time to launch a game and experience how this emulator can run PSP games on a computer. Here's Tekken 6, which is running. This is how it looks if you're running at one time resolution. If you increase the resolution, the quality of the video will improve. I'm getting full speed so you can see 60 of 60, which is an awesome performance. I recommend trying out PPSSPP because it's free and full of features that ensure a PSP gaming experience on your Android phone. Please like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Join our Discord server if you need any help. See you in the next video. Take care.